Thanks for tuning in. It's the one and only off the bottom is coming to with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new NECA Toys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, April O'Neil versus the Bashed Foot Soldier. For the package, here we have it. Very much like all the other animated ones that we've gotten before. You got a really cool image of April and the Foot Soldier there. Got the open window that fully showcases the figure. And April looking really... Um hunched over and like her neck that looks very uncomfortable as i've said in uh, previous videos i got a lot to say about her so you're not going to want to miss this video uh, the side here has a nice up close image of uh april right there the other side here you got that up close image of the foot soldier come around to the back of the package you got a uh, full image of both of the figures you got the other packs that are available and then of course you got the read up which is identical to all the other ones but for the packaging on this set that's about it. And as I said, I got a lot to say about this girl. So without further ado, let's get them out of here and see how cool they actually are. All right, so here we have April O'Neil and the Bashed Foot Soldier open up and out of their packaging. And starting off first with the Foot Soldier because that's probably the easiest. Lots of reused accessories, all these different hands and everything. Uh, you have like some karate chopping hands you got some uh kind of open palm gesturing hands you got some fists that you can hold weapons with you got some regular fists on there you have uh some throwing stars pepper stole one of these before so i couldn't show you i think it was uh this one i couldn't show you last time but here they both are again uh basically the same thing a nice black line you got a little bit darker of a pink line here uh but just some throwing stars right there you got the two blasters both again really very nice great paint detail on them they have an accurate looking uh, representation of how they looked in the show can't have uh, enough of these you're always going to need these blasters for these bad guys uh, and then he, he does come with one of the communicators this one though you can see has a uh, picture of bebop there so we got bebop we got rocksteady we got uh crane we got shredder all sorts of different pictures on there which i do like because you can kind of mix and match like you can give this one you know to shredder and then for bebop you can have him hold shredder or something so i like how they they have that so you can kind of recreate different characters talking to one another that's cool and then here we have the foot soldier itself really nice uh there's a scuff on mine i'm probably gonna have to take a little bit of a marker to that but basically the same figure the only difference here is uh the torso section the arms still suck on these it's like i feel like the pin here is too small and the shoulder joint is too tough but everything is pretty much the same uh from here down the arms uh the torso or the head area that's all basically the same but what we have that's different is this uh bashed in section now we have the one that's slashed where you have a metal rod that's holding everything together and then it's completely slashed this one just has uh kind of an open cavity right there which is nice again I love the fact that they give us these different looks for the so foot soldiers. I mean, some clean ones are perfectly fine, but a whole bunch of different battle damage ones are great. Again, it allows you to kind of recreate some really fun displays with the turtles or Casey or whatever fighting these guys. So I like some variety there. Same articulation, the, the ball joint for the, uh, the head. You get that going however you want. Shoulders rotate. Uh, they go in and out. But again, this is don't pull down here because that's going to put a lot of stress, as you can see right there. Kind of hold here and lift as much as you can. Give as much support to that pin as you possibly can, because that is not, it's way too stiff right there. So, I mean, like this, you can see the, the warping of the plastic. So, just be careful. You got the rotation. You got a double joint at the elbow. You have the wrists that hinge forward and back and then rotate. Uh, he also does still have the waist rotation, which is nice. Forward and back with the hips in and out rotation at the upper part of the thigh you got two bends at the knee come down to the boot that rotates right up at that top cut section you have a uh, ball joint down here so you can kind of pivot that around and then you have a toe yay toes so all that articulation that the previous foot soldiers have had this one has it as well you just get that extra kind of dynamic look now with april I know I talked about this in uh, previous videos where I'm going to have a lot to say about her. Uh, well, first off, I have to mention that Pepper has struck again. I can't leave stuff on this table because the chair that I'm sitting at, she likes to sit on when I'm not sitting here. 
And she has a tendency, she reaches her little cat paw and grabs things. Um, and she grabbed one of the accessories. I'll get to it in a second. Uh, she comes with two pairs of hands. You can see they are smaller than the regular hands, which makes sense because she's a smaller character. But you get two relaxed hands and then you get two fisted hands that helps her hold some of her accessories. So that's nice to see. She does come with one of the little pizza meatball aliens. Uh, I love these very much like aliens from the alien franchise. But these started out as like little meatballs. And then I, I want to say it was one of the first episodes. There were alien meatballs. I want to say that they that Michelangelo or something put them on a pizza and then microwaved them and that hatched them and tea these little vermin. It's a static piece, but I love it. I think that it's a great, great accessory to have. I wish I could get a whole bunch more of these. If they do another accessory pack, there is an accessory pack that they're offering right now, but it's for the movie turtles. If they did an accessory pack for these, I really hope that they would do more of these because these would be fun to have all over a sewer sort of play set. But great paint detail on there. Good sculpt, as you can see, with the, the tail and the back and everything. Great detail with the face. Very alien looking, like I said. And I don't mean alien as in like extra trust. I mean like alien as in from the franchise, alien. Absolutely terrific. Love that. Uh, she also does come with the Maltese hamster. This was in another episode where Shredder had enlisted in the help of uh, a gangster by giving them like weapons like this. They were supposed to get this because on the inside was some kind of a secret. I don't remember. It's like a energy, some kind of an energy source that they were, he was going to use to power the Technodrome. It was a really big Donatello episode. There's a little bit of a scuff here. I don't know if I can get that off, but you can kind of see there's his nose. And then right up there by the eye, there's a little bit of a, a paint blemish. So that kind of sucks, but... It's supposed to be, you know, like an ancient relic. But in here, like I said, was that scroll that had a formula for some type of energy. So again, a nice accessory. She had seen this and thought it was absolutely adorable. So she bought it. Unbeknownst to her, it started a whole thing. And like I said, it was a very Donatello heavy episode, which is why I brought up Donatello for the comparison. Yay. So you do have that. Uh, get that out of the way. Uh, she also does come with their turtle communicator, which is really nice because, again, I wanted to bring the other turtle communicator. This is the turtle communicator that the regular turtles, the regular turtles, uh, that the turtles use all the time. Hers was always done. It, it's hard to do, but it was always done to look like a compact, something that girls would be carrying around to you know, apply makeup, look at a you know, mirror, things like that. So the turtles had this look. Hers was done to be a little bit more covert, which I loved. And you can see that it's hard for me to do, but you can actually open it. It's got a little hinge on there. Uh, it does feel like it's a little bit warped, but you can see great detail on there as well. So you would open it up and then you'd be able to contact the turtles. Think that that is great. I love how they went the extra mile to give us this particular accessory. This is fantastic. Great detail on here as well. You can see both the bottom and the top have a lot of really nice painted detail. You open the inside, a lot of great tech detail, especially like down here with the different colors and things. Absolutely love that. Something tiny like this, and it is tiny. I mean, you can see her hand. It is very uh, small. Uh, the problem that I would have with this is that she really can't hold it all that well. Uh, she, I mean, she's got this open hand and you can kind of rest it in here, but uh, it, it's not its not that good of a, uh, a hold on there. Uh, so you can kind of use her thumb to, God, that, it, it's gonna take a lot of balancing to get it and i mean you can get it but it's going to completely fall out so definitely is unfortunate that they didn't give her more hands i mean they gave us a ton of hands for other characters to get two pairs of hands kind of sucks with her but uh it only really uh, hinders holding this so it is what it is i suppose let's get down and tell all the way uh she does come with a channel six video camera a lot of people probably don't even know what this is but she does have that but again uh the way that the hand is it's kind of difficult to get this in there um because the hand goes down like this you can have her hold it uh in this hand but the problem though then 
is it's on the wrong side. So, I mean, you can, well, I, I apologize. You can, you can use the other fist at hand and put it here, but let's see, let's drop her. Let's put that in there. I'm complaining about it and I really shouldn't complain that much, but all right. So we got that there. You can get a double joint here. I'll go over her articulation here in a bit. Uh, but again, you can't really get it down that well. So, I mean, <laughs> this is meant to rest on your shoulder, uh, and then you hold it on this side. So I guess you could kind of do something like that. Uh, it, it could, oh wait, does that actually move? Oh shoot. That actually articulates. I did not notice that. That's actually cool. So you can bring that down. That's kind of cool. All right. All right, all right. I'll give you props, NECA. That's pretty good. Let's see if I can get that in there, though. Hey, all right. That's, hey. You can kind of do that. That's not bad. Okay. I, I was complaining about it, and I shouldn't be. I apologize. I offer my most sincerest apologies to you NECA folks. So setting that right back there. So, again... Uh, better than I thought, honestly, but great detail on this as well. You can see the Channel 6 logo. You got some blank screens right there. Channel 6 logo, nice gray and dark gray paint throughout the entire thing. Absolutely love that. Uh, she also does come with... Now, I, I don't feel like she would be walking around using this. I feel like this is something that Vern would be using a whole lot more. Uh, but she does come with this, which I feel like she would be using more. Now, this is a <laughs> uh, audio recorder. Yeah. We used to have to do this, people. So you had a big giant, or you have a big giant sort of strap right up there. You can bring that up there. And then you can have this in her hand. It's a little bit tricky to do to kind of feed the wire through first. And then there we go. And you can have her going around interviewing you for Channel 6 News. There we go. Something like that, uh, which I love this. I think that this is a great accessory for her. I could total, I, I'm more than likely going to be uh, displaying her with this. I really like that. Uh, great Channel 6 logo on there as well. You got a nice wire right here. It does feel just like it's a rubbery material. And then you have that rubbery material on the uh, strap itself. Uh, so, and you can put this on either side, but great painted detail on there. Nice sculpt work. All of this is really very nice. Now, this is the part where Pepper showed up. Uh, she comes with one that's not wired, and that's gone. I have no idea where that is. It's probably under a table somewhere, but it looks exactly like this. It just doesn't have the wire attached to it. So if you didn't want to have her having this whole contraption, you could have her just kind of walking around with this, which I feel works better if you have somebody with the camera and her holding that because she probably wouldn't be having this because this is going to be recording it and it would be wireless for it. So um, unfortunately, Pepper struck and that is now gone. But for the accessories on her, that's uh, about it. Now getting her stand there. And now we come to the April figure herself. And I got to be honest. I mean, I'm happy to get an April O'Neil from the animated series. However, personally, I think that this is the worst figure that NECA has done in this entire line. Color-wise and all that stuff looks really great. The yellow looks really good. You got a couple different shades of yellow, which does a really good job of kind of, again, looking like the sun is on the front and then the back section is a little bit more shaded. You can see you got the two-tone going there. You can even see it kind of split here on her arm. I like how all the individual lines are nicely highlighted with a uh, black paint, even down here with the boots. Even when you look in the hair, there are uh, various lines that are kind of like gouged throughout her hair that are picked up with this nice black line that looks really good but i the proportions on this figure are really bad in my opinion number one i feel like her waist is way too small it's like pinched in way more than it should be now this is also going to sound weird but she had a fairly large chest on the cartoon not so much here and it's it's off maybe that would be a little bit better because I mean, she's got like wider hips. Maybe if she had a larger uh, upper section here and then this 
was a little bit more out, it would look better. But the way that it is, then if you're going to keep the waist in and if you're going to keep the uh, chest a little bit smaller, then you need to make the hips a little bit smaller as well. From the side, she doesn't look all that bad. It's from the front that really kind of throws it off. Also, like, the head sculpt's not the best, I don't think. The likeness is kind of sort of there, but not really. And then again, her head feels like it's too big. A lot of it is kind of her hair, but it also, unless you get it, like, positioned just right... It, it kind of looks, I mean, like like I said, that's pretty good. But a lot of times her head kind of wants to like look down and I don't know, it, it, I, don't, I don't feel it looks good. If you don't have her like angled back here at the, the waist section here, I mean, she just looks like she's kind of hunched over. I'm, I'm not a really big fan of this figure. And it kind of looks like her chin, it's like where his, her neck is. All the way out to her, I mean, that's a lot. I mean, I constantly keep wanting to, like, shift it back. And the only way I can really do that is by bending this and then bending that. And then, I mean, that makes it look okay. But it still looks a little bit goofy. I want to keep it up. But uh, overall, like, proportion-wise, I think is off on her. The other thing that does kind of detract from the look is, again, her size. Here we have Donatello. Now, the Ninja Turtles should be considerably shorter than her. I mean, she's definitely shorter, but they were uh, really small by comparison. And this, I definitely do I don't think that this is a good scale. So if you actually made her a little bit taller, and you would be able to kind of shrink this a little bit more. I think it would work decently. Bringing in another uh, adult human because... She was an adult. I mean, she was like 20, early 20s, I want to say. And here we have Shredder. So she's full grown as a woman, obviously. Um, but I don't know. I, I feel like maybe the camera angle is not really doing it justice here. That, that's a little bit better. Uh, but I just, I don't think that the scale here is working all that great. I mean, yes, she is shorter. But I feel like she should be a little bit taller, not as tall as Shredder, but definitely a little bit taller. That would make her a little bit taller here. So, yeah, I mean, I like that that she's smaller than Shredder, obviously. But I, I don't know. I think, honestly, it's it's just, like I said, the proportions of her. It's it's not something that I think has been done all that well. Uh, her articulation, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you get a decent range of motion there. Uh, it does feel like she's got, yeah, she's got one of those double barbell sort of neck joints, so you can kind of lower that in a couple different ways, but it's not going to go back too much because her hair comes down to her collar. So that kind of limits things. And it just looks weird doesn't it uh she does have pin hinge joints for the shoulder so you can hinge those out and then you can also rotate those around uh, i do like how they gave her a double elbow you can see that the uh, upper section here is part of like her actual arm and then the lower elbow joint is part of her jumpsuit so i thought that they did that really cool that's a neat little touch she does rotate at the wrist it also does hinge forward and back one other accessory i guess i should mention is uh she is wearing a watch that is a separate piece so you want to be careful not to lose that if you're swapping out her hands uh, she does have the upper diaphragm ball joint so side to side rotates all that kind of stuff nothing else at the waist i mean it's all right there the hips move forward and back they move in and out this is a softer piece so it kind of flexes as you move the legs uh, she does rotate at the upper part of the thigh she does have two bends two bends this one doesn't really want to bend there we go two bends there at the knee which is really nice uh, nothing rotational wise at the boot uh, but you do have a pivot and then you do have a hinge forward and back uh, so yeah i mean it's definitely unfortunate that she's not as good as um some of the other figures like i said literally all the figures i've loved with the exception of her and that's really really unfortunate because she's a absolutely essential character in the tmnt universe but there you go guys my look at the new april o'neill and bashed foot soldier you know and i gotta be honest i've watched several reviews on this particular set and i feel like i'm the only one 
to really criticize it. Everybody else loves the set, and it's not that I don't enjoy it. As I said, I am glad that we finally got an April that looks how she did in the cartoon, but honestly, I feel like NECA could have done better. When you take a look at characters like uh, the Turtles and Shredder, they're iconic parts of the franchise. And without a doubt, April should be considered as important as well. And seeing how they've done a great job with all the other characters, it's really unfortunate that April is a letdown for me. And like I said, a lot of other reviewers really have loved this set. And to be totally honest, most of those reviewers got this set sent to them by NECA. So... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't want to put anybody on blast, but honestly, I don't know how you can look at the cartoon and then look at April and think that they did a good job because they really didn't. That's probably why NECA doesn't send me stuff anymore. But ultimately, I still do recommend the set because it's April O'Neil and you got to have April in a Ninja Turtle display. The accessories are fantastic. The foot soldier is actually really cool as well. I love the different variety of foot soldiers that they're giving to us. You know, regular ones, slashed ones, bashed ones. And if memory serves, they're not done giving us different looks for them, which is outstanding. It's just, I definitely don't think that April is as good as she could have been. And that really does disappoint me. But all that being said, if this set is one that you would like to add to your collection, as part of the TMNT cartoon line for NECA, it is exclusive to Target stores. And it is out and it is available right now. So if you're looking for it, good luck and happy hunting. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you would do one small thing for me. And that's just to hit that thumbs up button. A lot of these videos, if they're not Transformers, don't get a lot of attention. But your support in terms of watching them, liking them, sharing them, whatever the case may be, really does help support the channel. If you'd like to go a little bit further, consider becoming a patron of mine. A contribution of as little as $1 a month really can go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really very much appreciate it. If you'd like information on that, feel free to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash optobotomous. And finally, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.